agenda for today is going to be welcome, reflection, singing a song and a special, time to read, we are going to finish our reading and a secret, content, content is going to be about smell, taste and look, practice book, we are going to have a path for evaluated activity and finally question and answer. It's very important to say that we have to use the chat to reinforce our class to participate in our class i will wait for you in your chat and if you have a question remember that we are going to have a part for that let's start Hello, good afternoon, my dear student from second grade. Welcome back to your English classes. Today is Friday, July 24th, 2020. Friday, July 24th, 2020. It's very important to say that um, we are gonna we are gonna study, we are gonna finish our reading and a secret and then we are gonna work in our evaluated activity. Thank you so much and let's enjoy the video. We are gonna continue with our class with the emotional content. Today we are gonna work on a specific um, expression, on a specific word that we have to represent in our life. It's gonna be about honest, honesty. Let's watch the video and the explanation about this word. Honesty means acting uprightly, according to what one thinks is correct. Honest people display the following behaviors. They think and reason about the right things to do and want, and carry them out. They act accordingly to their conscience, not according to social pressure. They tell the truth. Their thoughts, words, and actions are coherent. They respect the norms and laws associated with coexistence, as well as contribute to the common good. They respect others. They can be discreet and protect others' privacy. They inspire confidence. They are loyal to people and their ideals. They feel authentic and free. Honesty is built up by showing yourself as you really are, for example, on social media. It is also developed by honoring others for their positive qualities and for their actions in favor of the common good. Well, the video was um, shared by Universidad de Navarra. And it talks about honesty, that we have to respect each other, respect the belief of others, respect the privacy. And, and if you are a lawyer, you are going to be honest. That is our emotional content. You have to be honest, all of us. Thank you. We are going to continue our class. After we watch the video about the honest, we have to be honest. We are going to sing the song and a special. Remember that this song we were singing for time. This is going to be the last time because the next class we are going to begin another song. I need to everybody practice the song because this is going to help us to pronounce better. Let's listen and sing. We are going to continue with our class with our reading parts. 
the pages are going to be on a secret reading and we will finish. Well, during this period, we were reading this, uh, this one, this story in our reading patch, page 40, Anna's Secret. Today, we are going to finish our pages, and then we are going to develop the pages 50 and 51 that talks about the story. Remember the vocabulary, we are going to practice couch, fruit, player, soccer, and team. This vocabulary is very important to you uh, try to memorize because we were studying during all, all, all this period. Well, we are going to listen the reading. You can, you can read it, but the most important page is 47, 48, and 49 because we already read the others. Well, let's listen. Isabel is great at sports. She's a wonderful soccer player. In the afternoon, she plays on a soccer team with some other girls. I want to play on Isabel's team, so I practice hard every day with my dad. He teaches me how to kick the ball. He shows me how to pass it. We don't tell Isabel that I'm practicing. We keep it a secret. You should practice hard every day, Dad says. You should eat lots of fruit and vegetables, and don't eat too much candy. So I follow his rules. One day, Isabel comes home from soccer practice. She's worried about the next game. Our best player can't come, Isabel tells Dad. What are we going to do? This is my big chance. The next day, I go to the practice before the game. Can I play? I ask the coach. Do you know how to play? She asks. She looks a little surprised. The coach hands me a red shirt. Practice during the warm-up, she says. You'll play on the red team, Anna. Isabel will play on the blue team. The warm-up starts. I dribble the ball down the field. Isabel tries to block me. I run past her with the ball. I dribble the ball back very fast. I score a goal. Wow, says Isabel. That was a great move. Anna can play, shouts the coach. She's a good player. Soon the game starts. Our team plays hard. We win the game. After the game, Isabel comes up to me. She gives me a hug. Anna, you're a good player, she says. She looks excited. We have another athlete in the family. Now we can play together. Well, this is the reading about Anna's secret. We are going to um, answer the exercises from pages 50 and 51, página 50 y 51. Let's check. What is Anna's sister good at? What is Anna's sister good at? Good at basketball, baseball, or soccer? You you have to you can type the the answer on the chat and during the class i will be on chat and i will write your name if you had give me correct answers number two what does anna do to get ready to play on isabel's team what does anna do to get ready to play on isabel's team number three who helps Anna practice? Who helps Anna practice? Who helps Anna practice? In number four, how does the story end? How does the story end? Let's retell page 51. What was the first picture appeared? 
of which was the order of the story. Number one, listen. Listen the, the answer. Anna practices soccer with her dad. That is the number one. Number two. Anna asked the coach if she can play. Number three. Anna plays well in the warm up. Number four. Anna scores a goal. And finally, number five. The team wins the game. Well, this was the story for next week. We are going to uh, um, begin a new story that is the mystery of the missing dog. We are going to continue with for a student book. Please take up your student book and practice book. I will give you a chance to take up. Well, the last class we were talking about Piki Piri. Now it's time to continue with our class, page 41. Let's open on page 41. Page 41. What we have there, we have different different ex exercises related with the food. Do they like salad? It's going to be the content. Read, look, and write the names. As you can see, they are twins. Twins, gemelos. Mary and Carrie are twins. They eat dinner together. Mary likes bread. Carrie doesn't like bread. She likes salad. Mary doesn't like salad. They both like pasta. They don't like cheese. Well, who's this plate? Who's this plate? Mary or Carrie? Who likes bread and pasta? Hey, Mary likes bread. For that reason here, you are going to write Mary. And Carrie likes salad. Well, look at this. What are we going to do? We are going to divide. Now we know what they like and what, the, what they don't like. Mary. What's Mary likes? Mary likes bread. Bread. What she doesn't like? Mary. Mary doesn't like salad. Salad. Both. Both. A las dos les gusta. Both. They like pasta. And they don't like cheese. What about Carrie? Carrie. Carrie likes salad. But. Carrie doesn't like bread. Here, they don't like cheese. Remember, they don't like cheese. Here, I want you to check it out the rule of thumb. Regla del pulgar. It's a grammar content. Does she like ham? Do they like salad? Do they like salad? We use does when it's she or he. Does Carrie like salad? Does Carrie like salad? Yes. On this case, going to be... Yes, she does. Sí, a ella le gusta. Do Mary and Carrie like pasta? Yes, they do. Does Carrie like bread? No, she doesn't. When it's only one is she. On this case, when they are both, Mary and Carrie, they. Do Mary and Carrie like cheese? No, they don't. Finally, we have here, and we are going to use our stickers. The stickers are in the student resource book number 3D. 
these pies mm, with the nose. These pies, this pie smell delicious. Mm. These cookies look good with your eyes. Eyes. These cookies look good. I wanna you check it out. This is individual. These are plural. This meal smells bad with the nose. This milk smells bad. And finally, these pancakes mm, we form out. Taste delicious. This is used for a singular and this are used or is used for plural. Here we have an example. This pie looks delicious, it's only one, and this cookies smells good. There are a lot. Well, now you have to complete the next exercise. The next exercise with using the expression this and this. This and this. Well, number one, look at the beans. It's not individual. It's not individual. It's plural. What is going to be? It's going to be singular or it's going to be plural. It's going to be this or this. I want you type the correct answer on the chat, please. Remember that we have to use our chat with um, we have to use our chat to you participate on our class. Well, next. And here you're going to write number one. Number two. This juice looks good. This juice looks good. And the number one is this. This because it's plural. You can see here the letter S. This juice looks good. Number two. And it's singular. Number three. Cookies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This cookies smell good. Number three. Breath. Number four. Breath. It's singular. This bread looks bad. Make dinner and role play at the dinner table. You can do it at your home. What's for dinner? Ham and corn. The ham smells good and the corn looks delicious. In other words, I will say, smell, huele. Huele delicioso. Smell. Smell bad, huele mal. Look good, se mira bien. Taste delicious, sabe delicioso. Well, now practice. What we have on practice, but we are going to go to page 38 and 39. Página 38 y 39 de nuestro practice book. Let's check. Let's check it out. 38 and 39. What we have on our practice book. Let's check it out. We are talking about food. And remember that with this, we are going to do an evaluated activity that what I will explain in a few minutes. Page 38 and 39. Here we are. Well, page 38. What we have here? Pan, lies, bread, and cheese. Read and complete the chart. Like and lies. Remember that lies we use it for third singular person. Here, cheese. Don't lie, doesn't lie. Pan likes bread and cheese. She doesn't like ham. Sam doesn't like cheese or ham. He likes bread. They both like salads and then don't, they don't like potatoes. What about cheese? Pan. Hey, she lies. You are going to draw here a happy face. Happy face. What about salad? Mm -hmm. 
Both like salad. Happy face. Both. Both is ambos. Yeah? What about ham? She likes ham. And what about Sam? Sam. Sam doesn't like cheese or ham. A sad face. He doesn't like. What about potatoes? They don't like potatoes. They, we use the expression they. For that reason, I will draw a sad face here for Pam and Sam. And finally, what about ham? Sorry, this was, let me see, this was breath. Sam, Sam lies bread. Happy face, happy face here and here is gonna be. Let me see. Sam doesn't like cheese or ham. A sad face. And what about Pan? She doesn't like ham too. Here, what are you gonna do? You are gonna find. You are gonna find the answer. Does Pac like fish? Look at the fish, sad face, no, she doesn't. Does Ma like spinach? No, he doesn't. Do Pat and Mac like pasta, both? Yes, they do. Do Pat and Mac like bananas? No, they don't. What we have here, you are going to unscramble the sentence. Unscramble is ordenar la oración, it's in disorder. What we have here, we have different expression. This beans taste bad. This beans taste bad. Estos frijoles saben mal. This beans taste bad. What are you going to do? You are going to match. Match. The number one is letter B. And here you are going to write, This beans taste bad. This, I always say, and you are going to do it at your home. Number two. These pancakes look delicious. These pancakes look delicious. Number three. This juice... This juice smells bad. This juice smells bad. Number four. This cake tastes good. This cake tastes good. Final exercise from our practice book. Good or bad? Good. Muy bien. Bad. Muy mal. What we have here? We have milk. This, this, not this. This milk smells bad. This, this, circle this. This milk smells bad. What about cookies? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These cookies look Good. Well, people, we already finished our practice book. It is time to explain what is going to be consist our evaluated activity. If you have a question after that I explained in the evaluated activity, you can ask me a question and answer. I will be on chat. Thank you to you participate on my classes. People, I will explain what is going to be the evaluated activity for today. You know, it's gonna be about menus for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I have here some toys that I will use, and I need to you make the flashcard, and you can explain in an audio. In an audio, less than a minute, you are gonna explain the menu for breakfast. On my breakfast, what I have? Look at look at the picture. Come here. Look at the picture. What we have here? We have beans, eggs. Cheese, sausages, breath. I have my breath here. 
and I will drink a cup of coffee. Coffee, coffee. That is gonna be my menu for breakfast. My menu. You are gonna be on your own menu. What is gonna be for lunch? I brought here. This is my flasher. Chicken, a piece of chicken, corn, french fries, a tomato, and a lettuce. And I will drink a lemonade or orange, lemonade or orange juice. What is gonna be my menu for dinner? Dinner at the end. And it's less because the doctor says that we have to eat less on during the night. What I have? Milk and cereal. Cereal and milk. That is gonna be my menu for dinner. Well, that is gonna be all our evaluated activity. You can send me your audio and your photos of your three menus. Thank you so much.